Welcome to 10 Days of Prayer 2024. We believe prayer is the birthplace of revival. God has worked so many miracles in past years as we have sought Him together in prayer and fasting. The Holy Spirit has brought about convergence, renewed passion for evangelism, revived churches, and healed relationships. Pleasant good evening to everyone and welcome to another session of our 10 days of prayer. We're so happy to be here this evening. God has been good towards us. God has been good towards you. And we know that we are going to have a fabulous time in the presence of the Lord. All those who are viewing via the YouTube channel and those of you who are watching us on Facebook, we are so happy to have the privilege to come into your homes, wherever you are. And those of you who are listening via Second Advent Radio, our radio station of choice, welcome you to our ninth session of our 10 days of prayer and for some fasting. We have this evening with us, Pastor Carl Hastings. Pastor Carl Hastings is the pastor for... Uh, district number one here in Antigua and Barbuda. Pastor, could you kindly greet God's people? Yes, thank you very much, uh, Pastor Doyle. And um, I'm just happy to be in the studio this evening uh, on this, our ninth day of the um, 10 days of prayer. I'm so happy to be here with you, those of you who are listening via YouTube or on the um, South Leeward Conference um, radio station. We're happy to, that you're here with us this evening. And uh, as we share, we know God is going to bless us greatly tonight. You know, I'm really excited to be here uh, tonight. I've listened to a few of the presentations because, you know, as pastors, we're busy. We're here, there, and everywhere. And I've also heard persons, you know, speaking fondly about uh, the experience during the nights. And I'm so happy to know that across the length and breadth of the South Leeward Conference, persons are being blessed and even yes, beyond. So and we're saying to those who have already logged on, please call a friend and let them know that we are live this evening and we are about to have the most fabulous time uh, um, in our lives. So just call a friend, send a WhatsApp message. We want you to send uh, maybe a Facebook posting. Just say to your friend, listen, uh, log on. Uh, 10 days has already started and we are going to be live tonight as we discuss and as we share. Pastor, before we go any further, could you kindly pray for us? Yes. Let us pray. Almighty Father, we thank you this evening for your mercies and your grace. We thank you, God, for this awesome opportunity that we have that we could share in these 10 days of prayer. We want to thank you for the nights that have gone on before and the blessings mm -hmm. that we we'll receive. We pray tonight as we deliberate that your Holy Spirit will come amongst us. We pray, God, that those who are listening via the um, airwaves, that they will be able to truly be blessed tonight as we discuss and as we share. We ask your Holy Spirit's guidance and blessings tonight in Jesus' wonderful name. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. Uh, we ask you to kindly drop, drop us a line on online. Just let us know how you're feeling. If you're from St. Kitts, uh, we want Kittishans to just give us a St. Kitts wave. Probably you can post your flag. Those of you listening in Montserrat, we want a Montserrat wave. Those of you listening in Europe, wherever you are, just give us a wave so that we can know where you're at at this moment. And also we want you to send in your prayer requests. And for those of you who are there saying, Pastor, I want uh, my children to be prayed for. I want my mother to be prayed for. I want my father to be prayed for. Someone has just gotten into an accident and I want them to be prayed for. So we ask you to just Kindly uh, write in the chat your prayer request. Pastor, listen, I, I, I had a hard day today. I had a, a rough day. And there are two things uh, that's uh, happening in my life. Two things right now I'm experiencing. Two emotions that I'm experiencing. One, uh, Pastor, I'm, I'm hungry. You're hungry, Pastor? Yes, Pastor, I'm hungry. I, honestly, well, I'm hungry. you know um, in, in, in the Seventh-day Adventist Church, Sabbath is an awesome day when, you know, God provides. And, 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 and tonight you are not without food in this, in, this, in, this, in this room. And so tonight I just want to share with you, Pastor, um, some of the goodies that we usually have on Sabbath. And um, if you're hungry, this, this will do you well this evening. So, so Pastor, thank you very much, Pastor. Pastor, yes. Pastor you, you, you're a man who is, who, who you're always ready to meet the needs of others. Pastor, but besides, besides being hungry tonight, Pastor, I, I'm honestly tired. I've had a, a hard day's work and I'm honestly tired. What, what can you recommend to someone who is tired? Pastor Doll is tired and I believe that there are persons out there, you're saying, Pastor, I'm hungry as well. I'm willing to share with you, Pastor Hastings has just shared with me something that I can eat to do with the physical hunger that I'm experiencing, but I'm also tired. I, I'm really tired. I wish I could be sleeping. Pastor, what would you recommend to Pastor Doyle or to someone who is tired? Well, Pastor, we're all, we're all humans, and from time to time, we do get tired. Oh, you're tired too, Pastor. And I, I do believe that, um, you know, that God, you know, bear this in mind when he created us. And, and he also knew that because we're humans, we will tend to 
want to go over br the bridge mm -hmm. in terms of work, in terms of what we do. And so tonight, God has provided rest for us. He has ordained a Sabbath um, at creation. Mm -hmm. And so tonight, if you're tired, I want to give you rest on the Sabbath. Okay, so Pastor just gave me uh, something to eat for my physical uh, hunger, and he's suggesting tonight uh, that I should get the Sabbath for my tiredness. So, Pastor, we will get into that because I, I, I believe I would enjoy this, and I believe that you are heading somewhere. I'm not sure where you're heading tonight, but I believe you're heading somewhere relative to uh, the, the, the Sabbath being uh, something that I can use to deal with my tiredness. Pastor, we will get there. Mm -hmm. But before we get there, Pastor, I, I know you have been with the Lord for uh, many, many years. Uh, is there anything you want to share as to how the Lord has blessed you over the years and how the Lord has used whatever the, your, the Lord used to deal with your tiredness. You know, I came to the Seventh Adventist Church when I was 14 years old, and um, at first, Sabbath keeping was a challenge for me. I must confess and admit, as a, as a teenager going to mm -hmm. school, I can remember, Pastor, that I never wanted the Sabbath to come. Um, you know, young guys, you know, you have your little girlfriend at school, you love your little girlfriend. And, mm -hmm. and sometimes, you know, as the Sabbath is coming on, you are just thinking about the long weekend that you will have mm -hmm. um, without your friends and without the things that you think would, that would make you happy. And so Sabbath keeping our uh, Sabbath for me was, was tough going to school. But I, I finished school and I started working. And so, <laughs> Pastor, I couldn't believe that, you know, in, a, in just a week, you know, your mind could change about uh, um, something that drastically. I can remember that my first weekend, mm -hmm. I couldn't wait for the Sabbath to come. Oh, okay. I, I, I mean, I worked so hard that week that, that I'm telling you, I, I am begged, I begged for the Sabbath to come, mm -hmm. you know. And, and so it, it, it just shows us as human beings and as individuals, you know, God has provided rest and Sabbath so that we as individuals can truly enjoy um, after a hard week or month of labor mm. god provided rest within that time for us yes yeah, so I'm, I'm happy for your, your positive i'm happy so so happy for the fact that you have an experience because yes. oftentimes persons uh, will quote things and uh, they do not have an experience yes. to back it up but pastor is saying tonight that uh, you know he was blessed after being tired after hard days uh, hard, hard week mm -hmm. with the sabbath as a rest, rest. day uh, this, this evening pastor we, we need to uh, speak to the sabbath issue more than just you citing your experience mm -hmm. Uh, what, what, what is there in the Bible um, that leads us into embracing the Sabbath as something that can help us with, with, with our tiredness, uh, would help us with our issues in life and help us grow spiritually? So what, what, what biblical passage can we cite tonight uh, in relation to uh, Sabbath and the rest and uh, the hope that we have? Well, Pastor, tonight what I, want, um, I would like us to look at um, Isaiah, Isaiah 58. Uh, we're going to look at verses 12 and 13. Isaiah 58, verses 12 and 13. The Bible says, in my um, King James Version Bible here, it says, let me start from 13 and 14. If thou turn away thy foot from, from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasure on my holy day, and call the Sabbath a delight, the holy of the Lord honorable, and shall honor him, not doing thine own ways, nor finding thine own pleasure, nor speaking thine own words. Then shalt thou delight thyself in the Lord, and I will cause thee to ride upon the high places of the earth, and feed thee with the heritage of Jacob thy father, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. Here we find in Isaiah chapter 58 that God is telling us that if we if we turn away of our foot, and you know, in Bible times, you know, um, uh, on the Sabbath, you couldn't walk too, for too long. Okay. Uh, uh, they had steps that you had to take, mm -hmm. a certain amount of steps you, you can take within the Sabbath, and outside of that, you will break in the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. So um, I guess here Isaiah is using the terminology of back then to help us to understand that, 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 that the Sabbath um, is, is a day of joy, a day of delight, a day of peace a day of rest and that uh, we should not take it lightly and do our own thing on, on God's holy day. 
It's, uh, I'm, I'm so happy that you were able to cite uh, the Sabbath um, in the Bible. And we, we, we are saying, we, we're discussing tonight uh, the Sabbath in relation to how it uh, can help us to grow spiritually and how we can bring communities together. Pastor just shared a beautiful testimony there as to how the Lord blessed him through Sabbath keeping, giving him a rest. Pastor Hastings, earlier, for those of you who just joined us, uh, I said to him that I was hungry and he gave me something to eat. And we are saying that God knew that we would need rest and God gave us a physical rest day and I'm so happy for that. I too have been blessed over the years as a result of the Sabbath. I, I remember um, one occasion I had a very hard uh, week, very, very tough week, very, very rough week and I almost fainted, literally almost fainted, you know, during the week and the, the experience of the Sabbath and that happened during uh, uh, the time when I was studying pastor yes. at CUC, you know, uh, assignments to, to, to complete, you have to work in order to pay your way through school and uh, very, very very, very, very rough week. And the Sabbath was what that brought solace to me. At the point in time when I was about to break mm -hmm. and I thought, listen, the best thing was for me to pack up and go back to St. Vincent, go yes. back home. The Sabbath brought, you know, renewal and prepared me for the next week. So I'm thanking God today for, for the Sabbath. And I have my own testimony in yes. relation to the Sabbath. And I believe, Pastor, that there are lots of persons out there who really want to mm -hmm. join us this evening with a testimony and saying that God has blessed them and God continues to bless, bless them through the Sabbath. So we just want you to write in the chat your experience with the Sabbath, how the Sabbath has been a blessing to you, how the Sabbath has caused you spiritual growth, how the Sabbath has caused your family to grow, how the Sabbath has caused you to reach others within the community to help them to, to be better. So we, we, we are inviting those in Radio Land as well to, to, to get involved and you can WhatsApp us at 720-9630. We want to hear from those who are listening via the radio, Second Advent Radio, be it online or live and let us know how you have been blessed by resting at, at the end of a hectic week, a busy week, a trying week. Yes, and, and, and Pastor, tonight, even as we look at the Sabbath and what it really means um, when we worship on the Sabbath, um, we, 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 we are here, when, you, when we worship on the Sabbath, what we do, we identify uh, with God as our creator. Um, um, he is the one who created not only us, but all things that were created um, in the earth. And so worshiping on the Sabbath help us to identify our origin from where we came. And so tonight it's so important to have that identity. And um, for some reason, I believe, Pastor, when we, when, we, when we choose or decide not to worship on the Sabbath, I can't help but think that um, we're not identifying, we're not having that association, that relationship with our maker and our king. But God gives us the opportunity every week mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. to, to truly come in contact with him, to, to have that, um, that fellowship mm -hmm. and to have that, that kind of come, um, relationship with him so that we can meet him on the Sabbath and have that peaceful quiet or winsome um, kind of relationship that will lead us to be stronger with every progressive week that we encounter. Lovely, lovely. So I believe at this point in time, Pastor, before we get any further into the discussion, I'm, I'm, I'm excited, I'm, I'm happy, you know, with, with where the discussion is going. But I believe that we would want to give God thanks Amen. at this point in time. God has been good towards Praise us. God has blessed us with uh, a rest uh, that comes after we would have worked. So we want, to, we want to give God praise and thanks. So our first prayer session tonight, right at this juncture, we want to thank the Lord for what he has done for us. We, we know that God created and everything that was created was created for man's good and man enjoyed the blessings of God at the end of the Sabbath, that being Adam and Eve. So at this point in time, we want to wait wherever you are. Maybe you're with your children, you're with your spouse, uh, there's someone who is driving well. We know, you, we, we know you probably should keep your eyes on the road. But at this moment, we just want to move into a prayer of thanksgiving and we are thanking the Lord for having granted unto us rest, for having granted unto us an opportunity to pull away and be able to reflect on His goodness and on His mercies and His grace. So at this moment, just, just hold your, your, your children's hand. Parents, do that. And children, hold mommy's hand, hold daddy's hand as we pray. We, right now, we are having our first prayer session, one of thanksgiving, and let, let, let us pray. Our most loving Father, we thank you for your love, your goodness, your mercies, and your grace. We are so happy there, God, for the way you have blessed us with life yes, and Lord. the blessings of life. We thank you there, God, for the six days of creation. Yes, and Lord. Lord, you've commissioned us that we should work 
And we understand it to mean that we should take care of each other, love each other, go to school and learn, go to work and give an honest day's work for an honest day's pay, work to the point where we sweat. But dear God, we're so happy for the rest that you've granted unto us. At the end of the week, we can come apart, we can sleep, we can think positive thoughts, we can laugh with our children, we can laugh with our family members, we can laugh with community members, and we can regain that energy and that vibrancy yes, to move Lord. into the upcoming week. Amen. We thank you there, God, for all those who are saying uh, tonight that as a result of the rest, I was able to spend time with my husband, with my wife, uh, that I didn't see during the week because I was so busy. I'm so happy for parents who are saying, yes, uh, I'm so happy that uh, I have rest because during the week I was busy here, busy there. My children were moving to after yes. class uh, and I could not have been there with them and for them. I'm happy for, 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 for the Sabbath and for the rest. We thank you, Lord, for the discussion. We thank you, Pastor Hastings, and we thank you, dear God, for the wider community. And for those, Lord, who uh, have written in the chat that they're praising you and they're testifying yes. that the Sabbath has been a rest and a renewal unto them. May you bless them and pray in your name. Amen. 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 Yes, so Pastor, you, 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 you were saying um, um, before we, we, we took the prayer, before we yes. prayed, mm -hmm. and for folks who are wondering why didn't we continue with the dis discussion, yeah. we are saying that we must pray. pray. We should That's not right. um, summonize. We're just having discussion and we're sharing, uh, but we really want to uh, let folks know our primary reason tonight is to pray and to talk to the Lord. Pastor, you, you mentioned uh, the Sabbath. Just, just yes. briefly, the Sabbath. Which day is the Sabbath? And, and, and the Sabbath contains how many, how many hours? Quickly, just well, briefly. Well, 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 we know that the Sabbath um, comes between two days. Two days. It comes between Friday uh -huh. and, and, and Sunday. Mm -hmm. And um, so um, if it comes between Friday and Sunday, it could only be Saturday. Could only be Saturday. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, so, Pastor, we, 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 what, 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 what um, the Sabbath symbolizes? Uh, we, you, you've spoken to the Sabbath as being a 24-hour period, and it falls between Friday and, and, and Sunday. And you're saying that it's, it's, it's a 24 for our period. But what does the Sabbath symbolize? Sh share, share with us yes. some of the things that we can learn from um, embracing the Sabbath. Yes. Well, well. first of all, I have mentioned earlier mm -hmm. that um, it, it, it tells us where our origin, where we came from. Okay. Um, we came from um, a, a loving God mm -hmm. who cares enough for us that he created the Sabbath mm -hmm. so that we do not um, we do not kill ourselves. Mm -hmm. um, so that's, that's one. It reminds us that um, he is our creator. Mm -hmm. um, so whenever we worship on the Sabbath, it reminds us that God is our creator. He created us. Um, and we know that um, we were formed from the dust of the ground. And the Bible says that he breathed into man the breath of life and mm -hmm. man became a living soul. Mm -hmm. And that very week that he created man mm -hmm. and uh, to, 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 to bring his entire creation to a, a crescendo, to, to an end, he, he created rest mm -hmm. um, for us. And we know that rest is important. If we do not rest past the doyle, we, we run ourselves, grind ourselves into the dust. And so God wants us to have an understanding as to who we are. But how important it is, Pastor, um, um, Sabbath is not only about rest. A lot of time we think that Sabbath is um, um, only about that, that rest. God also wants us to have an intentional um, relationship with him. So Sabbath, we should plan for Sabbath. So it's not just getting up and because it's Saturday, we just get up and we, 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 we get into the Sabbath. We, so every week, we plan for the Sabbath. So at the end of one Sabbath, we begin to plan for the next Sabbath. And when we intentionally do so, it creates a kind of relationship between us and our God that really propels us into a kind of, um, into a kind of uh, situation where we as God's children will be able to truly understand our God and what he desires, he desires for us. So, 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 so uh, I should deduce that uh, the Sabbath being a memorial of God's, a memorial of God's creation, and it shows that God is the owner, the originator of everything, and uh, it, it speaks to the fact that we belong to the Lord, and the Sabbath is a sign that we belong to the Lord. Keeping the Sabbath, worshiping on the Sabbath, acknowledging the Sabbath is uh, saying to the Lord that we acknowledge him as Lord in our life and we having that sign so when we walk around folks see the sign because we understand that we have, we, we're in a world uh, where, where there are more than one forces there are two forces you have you have the one the good and evil and you're saying to us pastor that when I put on that sign or when I when I when I keep the Sabbath when I rest on the Sabbath when I worship on the Sabbath then I'm showing to others that I'm giving my allegiance to, to, to the Lord so I, I'm, 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 I'm hearing that you're saying the Sabbath is like a, a ring you know you know well I, when I 
I don't have one. I don't have any ring. But for those who get married, you give your, your spouse a ring. Uh, a sign that you're married. A sign that, listen, I'm loyal to you and you should be loyal, you're loyal to me. It's like an apostille. Right. So the Sabbath is like an apostille. That, that, that's, what, that's what I'm getting. Correct, Pastor. Yeah. And, and, and how important that is. Um, just as you, you mentioned a while ago, the, 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 the ring, which is um, um, binding between you and your spouse. Um, so too, God created the Sabbath mm -hmm. um, for us to really identify with him. Mm -hmm. and, and when we do that, when we identify with Christ, mm -hmm. as you rightly said, we show our, our allegiance, um, who we pledge allegiance to. And, you know, some people think that, uh, uh, that you know, um, worshiping on any day of the week, and, and we could worship on any day of the week, Pastor Doyle. It's not a problem. We could worship on any day of the week. However, there is a day that when you worship, you get extra special blessings. Oh. And that day is the Sabbath. It's just like you remember the story with the manna in the Bible. Um, God said to them, look, uh -huh. every day of the week, you take enough for the day. You don't take extra. Mm -hmm. Take enough for that day. But on, the, on Friday evening, going to the Sabbath, mm -hmm. you take twice as much so that you can, you can have enough for the next day. The Sabbath is a special day that God has designed, created, for us to really and truly come into communion with Him as our Heavenly Father. Awesome. I'm so happy, Pastor. Listen, you, 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 you've just touched a chord there in me in relation to the Sabbath uh, and, and communion with God. So I'm hearing that there is a level of graciousness. You know, it represents, you know, God allowing sinful beings, Him being holy, to come into His presence. And, and, and listen, uh, you know, you know the, sometimes in my relationship, I would do something and it would affect my wife. Mm -hmm. And I must be honest with you, you know, guilt would be there and I would feel uh, ashamed and it would take me a while before I can, you know, watch her in her eyes and I can really, you know, be lovey-dovey as it were. You yes. know, I'm looking for her, ac her acceptance. That's right. And I'm, I'm, I'm hearing that, you know, when, 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 when God gives the Sabbath, He's saying to us, it doesn't matter who we are, it doesn't matter your, your, your condition, you can come into my presence That's without right. any hindrance at all and feel comfortable knowing that my love is there for you, my, my care is there for you, my peace is there for you, my happiness is there for you. you, you it's, it's really amazing, listen, listen. And uh, um, that at the end of a week, at the end of, you know, you know, you know, a difficult experience, we can find rest in the Lord via the Sabbath That's and right. via that relationship. And you know what, Pastor, and it's so important for us to realize that um, if we are honest enough, all during the week, Pastor, we hardly take any time for God. We, we hardly have any time for Him. You know, you, you get up in the morning and you, you rush um, to get ready, prepare the children for school, uh, prepare yourself for work. You dash out of the house sometimes. If you get the time, you may take a five minutes or two minutes or whatever, just utter a word of prayer and you're on the road. And then when you get home, sometimes it's so late in the evening, you have to deal with cooking and preparing meals for the family. And this creates a problem. So God knew that. God knew that, you know, um, we would not have that kind of quality time for him during the week when we are working and so busy with all the stuff. So what he has done in the interim of things, he has created the Sabbath where we can spend an entire day with him. You know, um, getting to know him more, um, loving him more, you know communing with him, talking with him as we talk, as we're talking here, Pastor, that most of us are talking. That's the way God really wants to, to talk with us. Yeah. You know, you know, as, as you were talking there, I, I really had to smile because, you know, when, when we go to work, uh, we re receive remuneration at the end of the, the month or the week. Uh, you know, we, we put in work and we receive remuneration. Here, 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 you know, when God gave the Sabbath to the children of Israel, you know, God was kind towards them. God delivered them. Yes. God, 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 God parted the Red Sea. God protected them, you know, from uh, the, the winter as it were, from, from the heat of the sun. And, and God said, I'm giving you something in addition to that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you know, God blessed them with so many blessings. Mm -hmm. And then God gave them the Sabbath as an additional blessing. And we are saying uh, tonight that whenever we keep the Sabbath, it's a way of being grateful to God. You know, yes, God is giving us um, blessings that we cannot number. And we're saying we're coming apart and we're going to dine together. We're going to fellowship together. We're going to love together because of what God has done for us. So the Sabbath really, uh, when we embrace the Sabbath, 
it, it is a form of gratitude as well. We are saying, God, you have blessed us with uh, mm. six days and we have gone to and fro. We have excelled. We, we, we have advanced. We have grown and we are, we, we, are, we are resting in you and we are awaiting more. Pastor, you know, you know, again, we've said a whole mouthful and yes. I believe that we should really have another prayer session. There are lots of persons who are saying, Pastor, I, I know what you are talking about, what you and Pastor Hastings, you know, have been talking about for the past five minutes or so. And we have concerns. We have real needs and we want to pray, pray we, about we, them. We have a few persons here that are making some statements and Pauline Jarvis um, just said that Sabbath is a day when I come together with other fellow believers to connect with God. Wow. Um, it gives you such an opportunity to, you know, to really have that kind of connection, um, not only with God, but with your other um, friends and colleagues that you may not have had the time during the course of the week with. And so that is so important. We want to um, pray at this time. We have a number of uh, prayer requests um, that we want to pray for at this time. And so we're going to ask you to pray with us. Bow your heads as we pray. Father, no God, we thank you this evening once again for the power of your Holy Spirit. We do know, Lord, that you are prayer answering God. And even this evening as we call upon your name, we call on your name on behalf of uh, William Benjamin, oh God, who is praying for her daughter at this time, who is having a problem, oh God, with her stomach. We ask, oh God, that your Holy Spirit at this moment while we are praying may intervene, will dear God visit her wherever she is right now, oh God. We pray, Holy Father, that you will be able at this time to allow dear God, her daughter, to receive healing, oh God. Touch her body from the corner of her head to the sole of her feet, oh God. Give her the, the, the conviction that your Holy Spirit can do what he says that he will do and the faith to believe that your word is truly and your promises will truly come to pass remember at this time oh god tessa andrew who is asking for prayer for her family oh god we know in these troublesome times in these difficult days and lord with so many things happening sometimes lord we fall prey to the many things that are happening around we pray oh god that uh Tessa will be able to have faith in you as her God and that you will be able, oh God, to operate on that faith. And, oh God, the challenges that her family is experiencing right now will be abated and will come to an end. We want to pray at this time, oh God, for Saunders in a mark and special way who is praying for a niece right now, oh God. We know, oh God, that today the challenges with our youth, so many things are happening in their lives, oh God. They have so many things um, to which they, God, they are falling prey to, but we come this evening in the wonderful name of Jesus. We're asking, oh God, that you will touch that young lady, oh God. We uh, help her, dear God, to be able to trust in you and to know, dear God, that she can, she can, she can allow you to lead in her life as she go day by day. Remember the other young people in our society, in our churches, and in our homes, oh God. We ask this evening that you will put a hedge about them, oh Father. Allow them this evening to know that God is still able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we can think, ask, or desire. And we pray, oh God, that even at this moment, as we are praying right now, that you will begin, oh God, the work upon our young people, that they will be able to change. Their hearts and their lives will be changed, oh God, so that they will be able to trust you and abide by your precepts and your will, so that Heavenly Father, in, a, in, in, in the in the not too distant future, they will be able to create, Lord, a, a synergy. Create, oh God, the kind of environment where you can work through them so that others can come to know you and call you blessed as a result of their ministry. We ask this evening that you may continue to bless this program. Continue to bless those who are listening and allow them this evening, oh God, just to let go and to let you take control. And even as we look at the Sabbath, we pray, God, that you will help us to understand the seriousness of allowing your Holy Spirit to lead in our lives so that as we embark upon Sabbaths after Sabbaths, that we remember, oh God, that you are the God of the Sabbath. And as we keep it holy, as we allow you to lead in our lives, we'll be able to help others to see that they too need to follow and accept you by keeping your Holy Sabbath. We give you all glory, praise, and honor in Jesus' wonderful name. Amen. So happy that you're with us. And for those of you who've just joined us, listen, you've missed a lot, but we're so happy to have you in this worship room. Yes, we're having a bright 
experience with the Lord. Pastor, you know, I was so happy to, you know, hear you share of your experiences with the Lord and how God has blessed us with the Sabbath and how it will lead us into eternity because it speaks of that relationship. Pastor, you, you, you said earlier, my Sabbath. Is it your Sabbath really? <laughs> huh? Well, you don't have to claim it. <laughs> it's God's Sabbath. God's Sabbath. God's Sabbath. God's Sabbath. But um, I'm claiming Sabbath as well. It's yes. my Sabbath. And, and um, I really... Um, take a delight and, 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 and truly love the Sabbath. When the Sabbath comes, it's time for us to put aside um, the, the regular everyday things of life and, and, and fall in love with Jesus. With Jesus. You know, someone, someone quoted from uh, Isaiah 58, uh, a passage which says that we must not do our own things on the Sabbath. We must not, you know, uh, you know uh, do our own things. As a matter of fact, it says uh, in Isaiah 58, we must not do our own thing. Uh, we must do the things of the Lord, Isaiah 58, 13 and 14. And out of this, I heard someone one day mocking this passage, mm -hmm. Isaiah 58. And they were, they, 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 they were mocking this passage by the usage of a song that we normally sing in church. Mm -hmm. O day of rest and gladness, O day of joy and light, O balm of care and sadness, most beautiful, most Bride. Pastor, listen, the person changed oh, that to say... Wait, stop, Pastor. <laughs> this, is Man, this is the only time we're going to get a chance to sing so well. Yeah. We might not sing this again, Pastor. You know, you know, well, you know, and they, they, they said, Pastor, it is a day of stress and sadness. <laughs> you know, Pastor, tell us some of the things that we can do in a practical sense. What are some of the practical things that we can do to keep the Sabbath and to enjoy the Sabbath? Uh, Pastor, we expect me to talk after that. Come on, man. Um, you know. um, this is just, I mean, I mean, a joy to be here yeah, this evening. Yeah. Uh, um, some practical things we can do on the mm -hmm. Sabbath. Um, um, first thing, we worship. Mm -hmm. um, the Bible said, don't forsake the assembling of yourselves together as brethren. And so Sabbath offers us an awesome opportunity mm -hmm. to come together as, as believers in Christ. And so when we come together, you know, we know we, we usually use the term iron sharpened iron. Mm -hmm. We edify one another. We encourage one another in the Lord and, uh, and give each other that strength to face the upcoming week. We also fellowship. Um, we also fellowship. Um, fellowship is uh, when you finish worship, no, there's nothing like fellowship. Mm. You know, when you can come together, eat mm. together, mm. talk about the stresses and the trials and the difficulties and how God has helped you to overcome and really give you the power to move forward. That is so good. I mean, we, we don't want to um, say um, rest here, but rest is also important. Um, but uh, some people rest away the Sabbath. We don't want you to rest, to sleep all day, you know. But, I mean, it's okay to take an hour an hour and a half sleep, two, even two hours on the Sabbath, just to recuperate the, the body and make Pastor, sure the body is strengthened. Yes, sir. Pastor, I want you to say it. <laughs> uh, don't run away from it. I want you to say it. Uh, you know, some people think it's a sin to sleep on the Sabbath. <laughs> some people actually think it's a sin to sleep on the Sabbath. Pastor, it's not a sin to sleep okay. on the Sabbath. You can, you know, don't sleep away the Sabbath. Take some time to rest, recuperate. I mean, sometimes when you finish worship and fellowship, it can really take the drain on the body as well because you're extending time. What about um, visitation? It's an opportunity for us to visit the hospital, visit the sick in the church and, you know, the, and the homes, uh, you know, homes for the boys, home for the girls, um, our youth. You know, that's give us an up, a perfect opportunity um, to do some visitation. Read the Bible. You can't, you, you can't, you know, and not only read the Bible, read spiritual materials that will help you to grow. Not only the Bible. There are so many mm -hmm. other materials out there we can read to grow and develop and help ourselves. Meditation is also good. Mm -hmm. um, not the meditation that they do in certain things and so on, but meditate on your God. You know, when you talk, 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 you don't often take the time to hear God speak back to you. Meditation gives you an opportunity to listen to the voice of God speaking back to you. And so this is awesome um, to do. Yes. So, you know, your pastor, you, you mentioned those beautiful activities. And for us as pastors, you know, we, 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 we I wonder if we can do some of these things. I wonder if we, we have time for all of these things. Pastor. Well, I am because, not sure <laughs> if you do them, pastor, because, but I practice them. I don't know if you do them, pastor. <laughs> because, you know, we're busy in church, busy in church. You know, we have programs. We have this and we have that, yes. you know. And, and, and uh, for the person who is asking, because there's someone who is saying, Pastor, uh, you're speaking about this Sabbath with such fun. Uh, do you really experience that? Yes, yes, as pastors, in spite of our busy schedule, 
school and the meetings we have and the fact that we have to officiate in the sanctuary we, we do we do enjoy the sabbath and yes. we find time for you know to, to, to rest pastor i yes. normally I, I love what you say you, you said that the fact that we can rest on the sabbath i normally love my sabbath sleep i, I love my sabbath sleep. And, I'm, and i'm not talking about friday night yes. i'm talking about after i would have come back from yes. church you know between the hours of maybe two and three and yes. get a nice rest mm. in preparation for Man, the next fresh. the next work week you're fresh and and one thing that i don't want us to miss if anything pastor is spending time with your family with the family okay um, and this is so important and and, and and sometimes we're guilty as 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 pastors, we're talking as pastors. The others there, but we're talking as pastors. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes we're guilty, pastor. We mm -hmm. spend time with the church mm -hmm. members. We spend time with community. We spend time here. We spend time there. <clears throat> and sometimes we don't take that quality time with our family. Mm -hmm. And um, um, you know, sometimes it hurts us. Mm -hmm. um, but 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 we want to spend some time intentional with our family. With our families. Be intentional about it. Mm -hmm. Let the children see that you're there. Let the wife see that you're And you're not just there in body. You're there, you're, you're speaking, you're talking, you're sharing. You know, um, in that wise, it helps the family to grow and, 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 and gel together. Yeah, you know, and, and it, it calls for... Uh, uh, or gives an opportunity for family members to be creative. Uh, there, there is a mother who, you know, she has her children there, and they they they, they, they are very energetic. And mm -hmm. the Sabbath could be a burden for her if she um, does not uh, seek to be creative. Yes. You can take take your children for a walk. You know, take them take them down to the beach. Mm, powerful. You can take them on in, in, in nature in nature in nature experience. You take them on a hike, or and as you walk along, you can you know show them uh, the, how God created these fruits. So whenever they see the fruits in their lunch bag or their breakfast bag on the table, they understand that God created these fruits. And there are lots of things Pastor, that we should, yeah. Don't be afraid to drink that water. No, it's good for you, eh? Um, while we're talking. And 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 and, and so powerfully you mentioned dear Pastor, um, nature. Nature is God's way mm -hmm. of revealing himself to us. And and a lot of people are afraid of it. Um, it's one of the most powerful ways that God reveals himself mm -hmm. to us. As we watch the tree and we watch the process of uh, um, 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 uh, the plants and animals and we, you know, these things shows us how wonderful and how great and powerful our God is. And, you know, and, and when we don't do it, Pastor, we rob ourselves of an opportunity to really come in sync and in, 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 in that kind of close-knit relationship with our Heavenly Father. Uh, Pastor, Pastor uh, um, I have children. Um, um, someone is asking, I have children. Can, can they play board games? What kind of, is there any board games, spiritual board games that you could play on some of the children? <laughs> Of course, there are okay. many, many board games that can be played. We have um, um, in the home, we have um, from Egypt to Canaan. Okay, okay. We, have, we have so many different okay. board games um, that, um, and, 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 and a lot of businesses out there right now are playing with this. Mm -hmm. You know, they're, they're making all kinds of different games. They look for the creative ways to make the same game, mm -hmm. but to make it interesting to you so you can get another one. Um, and so a, a lot of games are out there that we could play as a family. Uno and Swan is not for the Sabbath. And we, uh, uh, some of us love to play Uno, but it's not for the Sabbath. Okay. All right, but Egypt, Canaan, we have um, a number of different board games there that our children can get involved in. But don't make your children play all board games. And if and it's okay to play with them as as a family, but you know you want to get into other kinds of play games from the Bible itself. Um, get them to love to read the Bible. Take up the Bible and read the Bible. I think that helps them a lot. Uh, and they can they can probably write their own songs, songs uh, create uh, their own drama presentations. Yes. And, and I'm so happy that we, that you've shared, uh, you know, so extensively because many persons think that this Sabbath is a boring day. And what are you going to do uh, for 24 hours all by yourself, but Pastor? I'm I'm really happy to know. Just before you go, there, Pastor. The Sabbath is going to be boring if you're not intentional about planning mm -hmm. for the Sabbath. Hallelujah. If you plan for the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. It's no longer boring, and you're not going to plan the same thing every week for the Sabbath. So that is important to know. You know, you know, Pastor, I'm, 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 I'm really happy for that, that, that sharing, that positive. And we are saying to persons, yes, persons on, online, you're there, and you're talking about nature. Yes, persons, it, uh, they're saying, uh, uh, Sister Harris is saying, taking a walk. Um, a nature, nature walk, walk on Sabbath. the Sabbath is so beautiful. Yes. Sister Palmer, she's saying, yes, Sabbath for me is divided into four so activities. Rest, time, time with family, family, worshiping with the brethren, and time, time alone, alone with God. With God. Oh. Yes, sir. Oh, oh, Pastor, we missed that one, you know. Time alone with God. Time alone with God. That's Thank you very much. That's Thank very you very powerful much. because yes. amidst everything, we, yes. need, we need our time alone with our God and on yep, the Sabbath. Tasha, Tasha, well, Tash, Ryan, thank thankful for the sabbath 
It is indeed, indeed refreshing, refreshing and, and renewing. renewing. Yes, someone else is saying we have uh, things that God made and Bible and characters, Bible characters. Yes. Yes, activities. We are so happy that person was a positive. Yes, someone else is saying. Uh, Sing, Pastor, sing. Oh, they're, they're, they're calling. <laughs> no, no, no. That was luck a while ago, Pastor. I'm not going to go back yeah. there with the yes. singing. <laughs> you know, Pastor, in, in, as, we, as we really reflect on what we would have said is that we, God has given us the Sabbath to, to, to help us in renewal for the upcoming week um, we circle, um, uh, work, work, work cycle, and also the Sabbath points to the eternal rest where we are going to spend eternity with the Lord. So, so, so when we embrace the Sabbath, it is not just embracing a day so that we can be rejuvenated to go and see material things. We have in, embedded in the Sabbath that relationship that comes out of bonding with each other and bonding with the Lord and accepting His plan of salvation. So the Sabbath yes. points to the eternal rest. One of these days, we are going to rest eternally, yes, eternally. Wow, wow, with the Lord. Christ died to provide that. So I'm happy ah. to know that, listen, while I'm waiting for eternity, I have the Sabbath rest. Every week, I, I can wait. remember. Pastor, I can't wait. Oh. I can't wait. Um, you know, this life is so mm. tiresome. This mm. life is so, um, you know, um, I mean, it puts the weight on your shoulder. Every day we carry it around. And, you know, even though we have the Sabbath, you know, sometimes the Sabbath is not even adequate to, mm. to alleviate those pains and suffering wow. that we go through. Mm. Um, so I, I don't know how some people do it. They go wow. through the whole week and they don't take time. Um, you know, ever since I came to understand, because remember at, at first I, I never wanted to come. You're at school, you have a little girlfriend at school oh. and so on. You, you kind of don't want to stop. But when I understood what the Sabbath was for, mm -hmm. Pastor, mm -hmm. ever since that time, mm -hmm. Pastor, I really enjoy Sabbath, Sabbath keeping. Yeah. You know, you know, and what I love about the Sabbath from my personal experience is that the Sabbath, you know, empowers me to live during the week. So um, I live a holy life on the Sabbath. I live a, a life in submission to the Lord on the Sabbath. And it turns me or helps me to be a seven days Christian, not seven day Christian. <laughs> so I'm not only in holiness on the Sabbath, but it empowers us. The renewal, the refreshing, the joy you have, yes. you know, on the Sabbath. Listen, it gives you the energy to live during mm. the week. So when, when Sunday comes, when, when Monday comes, mm. when, when Tuesday comes, when Wednesday comes, I'm still a Christian, yes, you know, because right. of the renewal. That's and that's right. what the Sabbath does. It helps us to be Christian seven days per week. Not, not right. just on Saturday, not just What's on the Sabbath. That's a powerful, yeah. a mm. very powerful statement. Mm -hmm. Pastor, and 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 you know, and and and, and Sabbath keeping actually helps to do that mm -hmm. because you know when you take time away because the Sabbath is really even though we 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 we, we try to fellowship and the other things with people, our main thrust on the Sabbath mm -hmm. is to meet with our God, and in that time, what He does, He 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 sharpens us, mm -hmm. He gives us a, a fresh. A lease for the new week coming up and it should open up our eyes to realize and to understand that our modus operandi last week can't be for the week coming oh. up because we have a fresh encounter with god you know we have that fresh encounter with god and it opens up a new kind of synergy and a new kind of relationship with him that really helps us and propels us along a path not only any path the right path you, you know you know pastor the way the way you're getting into this thing i realize you could stay here all night but we, we have limited time and we really have to pray so we we, we know that listen the sabbath is big and it's, it's it yes. is large it embraces everything that we do we're going to sing that one verse of that song pastor the one full verse of the song Me? before we close they, they asked us to sing it so we're going to sing it pastor you got to Oh, day of rest and gladness, oh, day of joy and light, oh, balm of care and sadness, most beautiful, most bright, on thee the high and lowly, who bends before the throne, sing holy, 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 to the eternal one. Oh, wow, oh pastor. pastor. You know, you know, when you sing about the Sabbath, it oh, makes you sing. Oh, up. yes, oh, yes. I so, mean, these are some of the lovely songs yes. we enjoy when yes. it comes Sabbath. Come and, Sabbath. And only Sabbath we can enjoy. It. Well, we don't, not only Sabbath, but on Sabbath is just special to Hallelujah, enjoy. hallelujah. We just want to have a season of prayer. We, we, we know that you're there and uh, you are locked in and you're actively engaged in uh, praying and, and holding your family together. So we want you to uh, pray with us. Us. Uh, some of you, uh, you're able to view
view the prayer requests on, on, on the screen, uh, on the YouTube uh, platform. We ask that you please just bow your heads and pray for those requests that you, uh, you've placed there and you Praise see the there. Lord. We just want to pray right now. Let's just Amen. bow as we pray. Father, we give you thanks for your hallelujah. love and your goodness towards us. Lord, we just Thank want to say Jesus. hallelujah. Uh, there is no God like you. There was none in the past tomorrow. and there isn't any today. When tomorrow turns, you'll be the only God. Praise we thank the you, Lord. dear God, yes. for your powerful demonstration to deliver men and women yes. from sin. Lord, the children of Israel, when they were in bondage, you pulled them out yes. of, of bondage and you said unto them, I've delivered you and I'm giving yes, you an God. additional blessing, the Sabbath rest. So remember yes. what I did for you, knowing that your enemies in the future will be dealt the same way. Thank you, dear God, Praise for victory. God. Tonight, Lord, we want to bring all of those who have posited their requests from yes, St. Lucia, from Dominica, from yes, St. Lord. Vincent, from Tobago, yes. uh, from, from, uh, from London, from yes. Montserrat, from across uh, the world. We thank, thank you, dear you, God. I just want to remember Catherine in Tobago. We said, yes, Lord, Lord, she needs uh, deliverance, not just for her only, but for her entire family, Lord. The Sabbath yes. is about family, and eternal rest is about family. She wants her entire family to be saved. Uh, yes, we Jesus. thank you, dear God, for his Riley is bringing her family yes. and Montserrat. So yes, bring on Montserrat tonight. Let me just please thank bless you, Montserrat thank in a mammoth way. Lord, remember how you were with them during the volcanic crisis, yes, and you delivered, and you can deliver again. We thank you there, God, for Norma Stephen, uh, for, for Joan, who yes. is praying for a mother, for a friend, for yes, a family member God. who is praying for her five children. We ask, so God, please yes, bless every God. son, bless every daughter, and grant, dear God, a Sabbath experience Praise so that Lord. joy can be, be had and, and deliverance can be had. We thank you there, God, for someone who is praying for a boyfriend. We yes, are so happy, Jesus. dear God, when, you, when our daughters can pray yes. for their relationships. May you bless, dear God, that boyfriend who is sick and who yes, uh, is God. not doing too well. We claim healing on your behalf. We thank you there, God, for Sister uh, Sarah, who has prayed yes, and God. is praying for her family and for friends and her loved ones. We pray, please, dear God, for please, Neil, please, God. that Neil would get a closer relationship with you. Lord, you're coming soon, and you want all of us to uh, dwell yes. with you. Thank you, dear God, for Sister Palmer and Brother yes. Palmer, the Palmer's family. Lord, may you bless them, dear yes, God. Jesus. We pray for the Francis family. We pray for the Andrews family. We thank you, dear God, for the way you've been with Marcia Joseph, yes. who is praying for her unsaved friends, yes, her unsaved God. relatives. Lord, we want to broaden this one, yes, dear God. God, for all those who are not saved, yes, all Jesus. those who are not in, entered into eternal rest. Yes, we thank Lord. you, dear God, that right now someone is making that change thank for you. you Father, we thank, thank you, you, dear Jesus. God, for Sister Crandon. We thank you, dear God, for yes. the Bridges family, the Brooks family, yes. the Jarvis's family. Lord, yes, death has Lord. struck, dear God, a family and the grieving Jesus. Lord. May you bless the Brooks family. Pray, dear yes. God, for the Joseph's family, yes. for the Sears family. Thank you, dear God, for intervening. We are praying, dear God, for the Askers, dear God. We've heard about the accident. We know, dear God, that you are there with them. Pray for the Lynch's family. May yes. you bless them as well, Father. We thank you, dear God, for coming through with yes. us and for us. We are praying, dear God, God, for those who are sick with asthma, those with diabetes, those yes. with high blood pressure, those with sickle cell, Lord, those, yes. dear God, who are losing their vision, losing their sense of hearing. Have and thank you, dear Lord. God, Have for that mercy. person who's in faster. I had a stroke, but God has been good. My heart is not doing too well, but God uh, continues to yes. hold me, Lord. We thank you for those, Lord, who are heading out, dear God, tomorrow yes. to do dialysis. And they ask you to please bless them. May you bless, dear Father. Pray for the nation of yes. Antigua. Lord. For Southern World Conference, yes. we pray, dear God, for all those who are listening yes, by Lord. the YouTube platform, the Facebook platform. Yes, and Lord, we Lord. thank you for the Sabbath rest. And most importantly, what it symbolizes, pray in your name. Amen. 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 Such a powerful prayer, Pastor. Tonight, um, you know, I mean, we can go on and on with this program. I mean, and uh, I, I'm just getting into this thing, Pastor. I'm just enjoying it. And um, it just shows, Pastor, that God, God knows us mm -hmm, best. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. God really created Sabbath rest. Mm -hmm to really give us that, to set the pace for us, mm -hmm. and to really give us energy to move on. Our final parting words before we go to our, our um, closing prayer for tonight. And it's, it, we're so sorry um, that we have to leave you tonight. We wish we could go on and on with you. But it says that every good thing must come to an end. And if we say everything tonight, the next time we come, we won't have anything to say, Pastor. So, so pa just your closing words, Pastor. So, Pastor, as you've given me literal food for my physical hunger, mm -hmm. God has given us the Sabbath for Praise our tiredness yes. and also for that curse that sin has passed on to yes. us, the eternal rest. So we're yes. saying to one and all, embrace the eternal rest by embracing the Sabbath and the sign that, Lord, sign that the Lord has given to us to show, that, show to the world that we belong to him, he is ours, and we are his. Well, we're happy to be with you tonight, and we hope and trust tonight that God has blessed you. And those of you who are listening, one, you would have connected with us. 
and you would have had an understanding as to what God desires when it comes to the Sabbath and what it really means to keep the Sabbath. And tonight, um, I, I do hope that God will truly bless all of us as we embark on a mission to really and truly not doing our own thing on God's holy Sabbath, but just allowing God to lead in our lives and allowing God to truly teach us the things that we need to know and understand about his holy Sabbath. We're going to have a final part in prayer with you tonight, asking God to truly bless your life and allow you to be able to really tap into his Holy Spirit as he leads. Father, now God, we thank you once again this evening for the power of your Holy Spirit. We thank you for your word. We thank you for the Sabbath. Oh God, we ask even as individuals that we'll allow your Holy Spirit to lead and guide as we seek to obey you in keeping the Sabbath. We ask for your blessing and guidance until tomorrow evening in Jesus' wonderful name. Amen. So I'm very glad that you're able to stop by because I always wanted to do something of this nature. And when I saw the 10 days of prayer, that presented itself to me. And I said, okay, let me jump on that bandwagon. <laughs> let me jump on that bandwagon and let me pray for my friends, not just my friends, but for my family. It's important that we not only pray, but we put in a fast along with that. If you want to see miracles happen, if you want to see things change for you, put in a fast. You decide how long you want to fast for, but you need to stick to it. Yes, more prayer, more power. And then you add in that fast, you see how quickly whatever you want will come through. And have faith in God. It's so important to have faith in the God that allows you to get up every day, that keeps you a God that loves you so much, my friends, that he gave his son to die on the cross for you. So as you stick by day by day, I'll be posting each day of prayer. So thank you once again for stopping by. My name is Karen Guy. Welcome to my channel and have an amazing day. Remember, 10 days of prayer, more prayer, more power. God bless you.